Hey everybody, welcome back. I would like to welcome myself back. I, um, as you can see, just came back from a deployment. Um, my skin has this beautiful glow to it. Um, unfortunately, my hair did not take it the best. So today I'm going to actually be trying something um, for the first time. I heard so much about it and I decided to do it now just because my curls suffered the most on my deployment. Um, I'm going to do the apple cider vinegar and the Aztec clay mask mix. Um, I'm going to put it on my hair damp and then I'm going to use a little shower cap. I guess you can call it. I got these cute little caps from um, Walmart. I got this asset clay mask from Amazon. I got it just shipped to me. And then I got the apple cider vinegar, the organic brag apple cider vinegar from Walmart as well in the grocery section. So I'm going to use a little flimsy um, little cup. I got this from Amazon as well. I love Amazon to death. Um, when I'm lazy, I just drop stuff in my cart and I get everything shipped to me because I hate actually like I hate going inside of stores and shopping and looking for stuff so this little mixing bowl is flimsy but it like it has a hard bottom so it won't fall over and um you can use it for like hair masks face masks all type of stuff so I think it's beneficial it comes with a mixer measuring cups and um it also comes with like it came with like a little face mask thing and a face scrub but of course we're just using it for hair today so let me go ahead and open this up um while i'm doing that i just wanted to talk about um uh, very vaguely my experience during my deployment um it was definitely a learning experience um, the tempo was high. I had very little time to myself. Um, I had to make time for myself. Um, as far as like my skin and my hair, um, I put two scoops of the asset clay mask in there. As far as like my skin and my hair, um, it wasn't. It wasn't really that bad. I think it just got bad when. Um, I would try to do too much to my skin and my hair. Like, I think keeping it simple is best. So, like, don't go there trying to, like, overdo it with the face mask, the cocoa butter, and all that. Like, just wash your face at night. Um, use a regular, like, oil. Kind of like olive oil or uh, tea tree oil or something like that. I used bio oil. It's something you can get from Walmart. I know Amazon has it, of course, but I got mine from Walmart. Um, it's a little expensive, but I love using that oil on my face. So I put that on my face at night. And then, of course, when I woke up, I would just um, gently wash my face. I wasn't wearing makeup or anything like that. I was all natural. So I didn't have to wash my face two, three times a day because of makeup or anything. Um, but just try to like keep your pores closed as much as possible if you go in an environment like that. As far as hair, um, ooh, up some. I poured some of that vinegar in there. As far as hair, I um, took it back to the old school days. I used. Um, hair mayonnaise and um, you may be thinking like oh that's a heavy product but because of how dry it was and the very little time I had to do my hair I needed that heavy product on my hair to keep it moisturized um, I probably washed my hair every two weeks I co-washed it once a week and then I trimmed it twice while I was deployed I was deployed for eight months so um, it's just whenever I felt like I needed to. I'm going to do one more scoop and a little bit more of um, some vinegar. I 
I can imagine it's getting really messy. So um, just make sure you're prepared for that. I'm actually not, but it's okay. So I went and got me a little towel just because I felt bad telling y'all to have something and I didn't. So um, So this mask is like stinks to me. I don't think it smells good. That's not bad. I don't know if you guys can see how it looks. It has a I think a smooth texture to it. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I was using um, hair mayonnaise on my hair. So what I would do is just wash conditioner, use regular products, and then I um, would twist my hair. This is when I was like deep conditioning and I did this when I washed my hair. So I would twist it and then um, put uh, the hair mayonnaise on there and then rinse it out and then put my hair back in a ponytail. Um, I really did love, like I love doing the two strand twists or braids whatever you want to call it um the two going on the sides i love doing that to my hair um that's when i would wash it sometimes i would wash it and then condition it into the two twists um i think i've done i've been back for about three weeks i think i've done two wash and goes since i've been back and it's not terrible don't get me wrong it's about time to trim my ends, my ends again. It's not terrible, but it's not what I want it to be or what I'm used to. So that's why I decided to do this mask. So what I'm going to do is just start from the back. Alright, so I started with like a little, little pieces. It's not too big, but um, I've watched other videos and I've seen that this can have the tendency to dry quickly. So I want to make sure that I do majority of my head before it starts to dry. So like I said, I'm going to do it while it's damp. And of course, I'm using my famous spray bottle. Um, if you watched my videos before, I got this off of Amazon. I can't remember exactly how much, but I do know they sell them in regular hair stores. And I also have um, a dimming brush. All right now, I'm going to use my hands. It feels a little slimy, but it's not, it's not too bad. As you can see, um, my hair did grow. I used um, um, hair, skin, and nails peels. Well, I did the peels and then I did the gummies. Um, I love them. I actually still take them. I decided to get um, back on like vitamins because I feel like when we were younger, we took vitamins regularly, but now it's like, I don't know. So I want to get back 
Well, I did get back into taking vitamins every day. Like, I take medicine, well, vitamins every day. Um, I take hair, skin, and nails. I take a probiotic. CBS has nice probiotics. Um, that includes, like, cranberry. Um, I take B12. Um... Vitamin C, I think that's it. And then of course, um, those who um, deploy, you know, you take your regular medicines as prescribed to you, such as like um, doxycycline, cycline, 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 the doxies. And then I did take those every day. I did not have any issues with them. I know a couple of people did, but I did not. My hair is really tangled, as you can see. That's another thing I'm not sure if it's because it's dry, it's tangling more than usual. It's okay, we're gonna try to get down to this. Yeah, it's really messy. Um, I have on black pants, black sweatpants, some old sweatpants, and a shirt. Um, ex expecting it to be messy, but just make sure you're not wearing something that's important to you. Like I said before, I'm just um, separating my hair with my hands right now. When I actually watch out, wash out the mask, I'll probably use my brush. Hopefully it'll be a little easier to maintain. I feel like I'm gonna have to um, make more mix not looking like it's enough um, but I definitely will be making another video so if you have any questions um, as far as the deployment or you know redeploying or uh, pre-deployment just let me know um, a lot of things I feel like I, I was nervous and I tried to ask other people about their experience, but I honestly feel like everybody's experience is different. Just like everybody's hair is different and so forth.
all done. I made a huge mess. I think I used about five to six scoops of the Aztec Secret Healing Clay Mask. And I just poured some apple cider vinegar in it. I'm not sure how much. Um, I thought I was going to put a cap on it, but it's a little different than what I thought it was going to be. So I'm not going to put a cap on it. I'm going to wait and deep condition my hair. Uh, we'll throw some conditioner on it after I rinse this out. I'm going to hop in the shower and rinse this off just to make sure I get it off everything. And um, I'll be back once I rinse this out. Hopefully, um, this helps bring back my curl pattern, rinses out all that excess product, heavy product that I use for the past eight, nine months. Um, keep your fingers crossed. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I can honestly say that I did not waste my time. So, um, first things first, it's very, very messy. Um, you will have to clean your shower, you will have to clean your bathroom, you're gonna have to wash those clothes you had on whenever you do this. Um, you got to clean the area where you were at. It's very messy, it gets everywhere on your hands, under your nails, everywhere. Um, second, make sure you get all the clay whether it's on your neck your forehead around your ears especially if you have sensitive skin um i do know someone who actually did it and she gave me the tip and told me that she broke out so i was sure to scrub everything um like honestly as soon as i rinsed out my hair and then i washed it um i could see a difference like it's not going to like work a miracle and make your hair a million times, I don't know, um, more manageable or anything like that. But it did help me um, to an extent. My curls were juicier. Um, they were easier to manage in the shower. I did have my shower brush in there. I brushed it. Um, I then conditioned it. And then I used Urban Hydration products. Let me put that in there. Um, I did use the conditioner and it was just easier to manage. My curls are softer and juicier. So I would recommend that everyone does this. Um, even if you just want to try it out, you don't have to necessarily been deployed for eight, nine months in the worst conditions possible. Just if you want to try it out, I would recommend that anyone does it. Um, once I got out the shower, I did use um, Devil Curl, Diva Curl, Devil Curl, whatever you want to call it, Heaven and Hair Intense Moisture Treatment. Um, I put it on, then I used the caps. I sat on there, um, set that on my hair for about 20 25 minutes, rinsed that out. Of course, that did nothing but help my hair. And then I used Urban Hydration Jamaican Castor Oil Styling Gel. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I prefer styling gels in my hair. They just work better than um, things like creams and stuff like that. So, like I said, I did not waste my time. I think my hair looks pretty good. I have no complaints. Um, if you have any questions or if you would like for me to do a part two redeployment video, I can definitely do that. Just make sure you comment anything um comment any questions under the uh, comment section below or dm me or anything you feel comfortable doing so thanks for watching my video i'm so glad to be back um all i could think about <laughs> on my free time of the deployment was getting back home making more videos and helping more individuals um when it came to their hair their skin or anything like that so thanks for watching be sure to subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you guys next time <music>